Hey guys, Matt Bell with the Electric Violin Shop. Welcome back to the Classical to Radical series. Uh, this series is aimed primarily at classical and acoustic players that are trying to explore the world of electric violins. You can find the other videos in the series on our Facebook page for Electric Violin Shop or you can find them on our YouTube page, uh, Electric Violin Shop. So uh, here we go. Here. In the classical world, there's a couple things that you always want to show up to a gig with, right? You want your instrument, your bow, your rosin, your music. Um, it's very much the same in the electric world, but there's a couple more things you might want to have. You definitely want to have some extra strings. Uh, we do play a little harder on the rock side sometimes, so you tend to break strings a little more often. Uh, you're probably going to be the only violinist on the gig, so you want to make sure you have some spare strings with you. I'm really paranoid, so I carry three E strings, three A strings, and then two of everything else. Um, you want to make sure you can change a string in about two minutes. Uh, if you can't do that, then you want to practice a little bit, and the reason for that is songs tend to run about three to five minutes. You break a string, you can finish that song, let your band leader know, hey, I'm going to have to sit one out to change a string. Uh, they can pick a song that, that works best that they can do without you, and uh, then you're going to have about a minute to get to your case. Take about two minutes to, to change and tune that string, then you're right back at it. Um, the other thing you want to make sure that you have with you is a quarter inch cable. We talked about those last time, so you know what those are. It's how to plug your instrument into uh, the PA system. It's just really bad etiquette to show up to a gig without one of those. Everybody um, is generally going to carry one or two, uh, and if you're you're sort of always begging those things off of other people, um, it's, it's bad form. So make sure that you have uh, at least one cable with you if you use one cable. However many cables you're going to use, make sure you have those and maybe one extra because sometimes cables go bad. Okay. Um, most of the time uh, a venue that provides sound for you is going to provide a DI and an XLR cable, um, but that'll be a, a passive DI. If you like an active DI or um, if you've got a certain kind of thing that you like to plug into, make sure you have that and all the power supplies you need. Um, and if you're in a really small venue like a coffee house or something, you might want to make sure that you've got some XLR cables with you too to plug from your DI into the soundboard. Okay, just everything that you need to make your sound happen, you need to make sure you have it with you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe so you can check out all the videos in the series and all the cool content coming from Electric Violin Shop. And we'll see you next time.